All right, um, so this is your first video. Um, so kind of as we go through, I'll try to give some sort of explanation about um, kind of the things you should look out for and things you could do to kind of help you get the most out of this video. Um, first of all, happy Monday. Good job, you survived the first week of school. And by the time you watch this, you'll have survived the first Monday of school, um, which are always the greatest days. So good job on that. Um, in this video, what I'll do is basically go through um, some kind of definitions. Um, I'll do a quick example, and then you'll have a little problem to try on your own. Um, and so hopefully you are following along in your note guide. Um, there will be some definitions for you to copy down. Um, and if at any time you want to pause the video, if I'm talking too fast, or if you just kind of want to hear it again, rewind, whatever, um, feel free to do that. Okay, so this video is going to be about learning target one, um, finding equivalent expressions by applying the different algebraic properties. Um, and these are things that you're, you're kind of maybe familiar with already from um, advanced math last year. Um, but the first one that you have on your note sheet is the distributive property. And what the distributive property says is that for any values of a, b, and c, this equation is true. So you've got this equation, a times b plus c, in parentheses, equals a times b plus a times c. So a lot of times the way you'll see it is with these kind of rainbow things. So that's where we get the a times b right here. And then the second part, which is the a times c right there. So if you want to think of it as you've sort of distributed the a to both of those. That's one way of thinking of it. Um, the second one is like terms. Terms that have the same variables raised to the same exponents are like terms. Um, so for example here, we've got 3 times x squared times y and 8 times x squared times y. So the x squared y have the same variables to the same powers, so they're like terms. Um, you can add or subtract like terms, um, and this process is what is called combining like terms. Um, and we'll do that a lot when we're solving equations. And then we've got the properties of equality. So we've got the first the addition property of equality, um, that if you add c to one side, you have to add c to the other side to make it equal. Um, so this word equal. Um, same with subtraction property of equality. You can subtract C from the left side as long as you subtract it from the right side. Um, multiplication property of equality. If you multiply the left side by C, you also have to multiply the right side by C. So AC, A times C equals B times C. And then uh, the division property of equality, you can divide by C and divide by C on each side. If you divide by C on one side, you have to divide by C on the other side. Okay, so those are the properties of equality. And those are what help us solve equations. That's why if you've ever solved, you know, maybe uh, X minus 3 equals 10, that's why you can subtract 3 from both sides to help solve for X. Um, so the example I'm going to run through real quick is to rewrite this equation without these parentheses. So the first thing I'll need to do is distributive property to get rid of the parentheses. So we draw our little hoops. And then if you look back at our distributive property, that means I'm doing 2 times x, copy down the plus, and then 2 times 4. And then I'm just going to copy down the whole rest of that equation. So our, our parentheses in the 2 times x plus 4 became 2x plus 2 times 4, which then we can simplify. Again, just copying this down, 3 plus 2x plus 8. Um, we can combine the 3 and the 8 since they're both just a, a constant number. Um, there are no variables there. So y equals 11 plus 2x. And that is simplified or rewritten 
um, without the parentheses and then simplified as far as it can possibly go. Okay. Um, so your each video you're going to have a little before class question. Um, this week's before or this video's before class question is to use any combination of the properties of equality um, or the distributive property to write the the equation below in is in three different ways um, that would still be equal. Um, so there are going to be a lot of different possible answers for this, um, but use those properties from above to come up with um, three, three different ways. Um, and there, there are actually going to be an infinite number of ways that you could do this. Um, so if it's going pretty easy and you want to kind of try to get creative, challenge yourself a little bit, um, go for it. 